Damn, people! Man, you gotta be kidding me. This freaking judge is doing all kind of shit, putting people in jail, issuing warrants when she shouldn't. And when she gets sanctioned, she says it's because of menopause. And it's not her fault. See, this is what happens when you start hiring people because of their color and what bathroom they use instead of their qualifications. And then you can't get rid of them because if you say anything against them, they will pull that protected status out and say, it's not my fault. So I'm never responsible. I'm never accountable. I'm not required to follow the rules. You can't hold me accountable to the rules. Therefore, I can do what I want. And I still get to keep my job and do damage and cost the government and taxpayers millions of dollars. But we can say at least we're not being called names and we're being PC. Just freaking ridiculous. Listen to this freaking news thing. Went before the Ohio Supreme Court. Judge Pinky Carr is accused of dozens of incidents. Pinky Carr. Rick, you just don't like her because she's got pink in her name. Her name's Pinky Carr. The Pinky Toe Takedown. The misconduct over the past two years. Misconduct over the past few years. Not a couple days, not a week, not a few years. She's been stomping on people's rights and putting them in jail holding them in contempt, doing all kind of shit for the last few years, and they finally decided to do something. Including holding hearings after the pandemic forced the courthouse to close. And today, her attorney offered an explanation about why, and in part, blamed menopause. Our State House reporter Morgan Trow explains how the state Supreme Court justices reacted. The defendant was due in court at 8.30. A Northeast Ohio... So this is the judge that's issuing warrants during COVID, doing a lockdown for not showing up in court, even though the courthouse was closed, she went ahead and held a hearing anyway because she's above the law, right? She can do what she wants. You can't say nothing to me. I'll say you're a racist or a sexist and you can't do anything to me. She held a hearing during the COVID and then put out warrants for people to arrest them. She ought to be in prison and they're, they're arguing. She thinks her six months suspension with I think like five months stayed, meaning she, she only gets like 30 days and she's still fighting at the Supreme Court because it's not fair. Ohio judge and her legal counsel got another chance to defend her from allegations of misconduct in the state's highest court on Tuesday morning. Cleveland Municipal Court Judge Pinky Susan Carr is accused of more than Pinky Carr 100 serious incidents from 100 100 violations of the constitutions of people's individual rights because she wears a robe, because she was a sleazy lawyer that knew somebody and got appointed, probably became a lawyer, got appointed to lawyer, got through law school, been her whole life riding on her sex and color instead of her capabilities. 100 incidents and they still can't get rid of her. And she's complaining that 30 days suspension is too much. Un. Freaking from 2018 to 2020, most notably issuing arrest warrants for defendants who didn't appear for court during the government-issued stay-at-home order in the pandemic. Warrants for government order. So the government orders you to stay home. If you don't, they arrest you. Then when you stay home, they put out an arrest warrant because she's government. This is why government needs to be held accountable, small government. This is why our government doesn't work for us. This is why people need to wake up and stop reelecting these same terrorist, uh, traitorous people into Congress and judges and have these lifetime appointments. Bad, bad, bad. Supreme Court lifetime, federal judge lifetime. Nobody gets a lifetime. You do the freaking job or you can be fired. That's called standards. Appoint me lifetime position. Watch how radical I get. You think I'm radical now? You give me a job telling me I can't be fired and I'll be cleaning up some shit. He failed to appear. No. She also allegedly jailed defendants without suitable reason, including when a defendant rolled their eyes. Went to jail for rolling their eyes. Notice they're not saying what color the person was that went to jail. I'm going to take a swag and say it was a white person and she put him in jail for rolling their eyes. There is no question that the conduct engaged in by Judge Pinky Carr was egregious. It may this is her attorney, okay? When your own attorney <laughs> argues 
that there's no argument that her conduct was egregious. And they still can't suspend her. Seam attorney Nicholas Froning is arguing on behalf of the disciplinary council in its case against Carr. But you would be wrong. He says she's admitted to many of her wrongdoings, so the argument is no longer did she commit. Why'd she get a white guy to defend her? Because it's the race thing. The allegations, but rather, why did she do it? The main reason for the judge's misbehavior is one that made the Supreme Court justices skeptical. How does sleep apnea or menopause contribute to lying? So she's saying she did all this because of her sleep apnea and menopause. Wow. Wow. Well, <laughs> it, it, it affects her, her, her. Look at this Weasley lawyer, slimy, wiggling around trying to make up lies. Her, her mood, it affects um, her ability to think clearly. Froning believes the disciplinary council didn't review Carr's mental health issues fairly, and he wants the Supreme Court to have the council reevaluate. The council's attorney, Joseph Caligari, says that they did review it. He says he is sticking with his recommendation of a two year suspension for the judge. Two years would be a sufficient sanction that. Not even fired. You let her put hundreds of people in jail falsely you don't fire her you don't charge her criminally you don't make her anything you're saying a two-month suspension so she could come back and do it again and it's half of it is stayed that would uh, not only recognize her misconduct but also just deter other members of our judiciary from in that deters members you give me a two-year suspension probably with pay engaging in a similar type of misconduct. Froning says he understands that Carr needs to be reprimanded, but he's asking for a lesson. I apologize for some for being an idiot and threatening to kill you. I'm sorry. It will never happen again. What the hell is this? Sir, consequence. Suspend her for 24 months with 18 months stayed. Suspend her for 24 months, two years, with 18 months stayed, meaning she doesn't have to be suspended for 18 months, meaning they're going to suspend her for six months when she put people in jail. I, this just, it's just, I mean, it's one thing they locked up all these people who went to protest and kept them in jail without bail. Dallas let a black male juvenile who brought a gun to school and shot people let him out on bail the next day. White people who protested against a stolen election protested and they have been locked up for over a year and not charged and not been released and not given bail. Man, people need to wake up. Uh, what the hell? The court will now be evaluating the oral arguments to see where the case goes from here. At the Supreme Court, Morgan Trout. Out freaking rages. This is more government earning the hate. All right, we'll end that there. Pinky, you're a piece of shit. Hold me in contempt, you freaking disgusting piece of shit with your little pink glass to match your pinky toe name. All right, we'll end that there.